Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Glitched Velocity. I'm your host Vazahat and today in this video we are going to learn how we can play video clips on objects or scene notes in Copper Cube Professional or Studio Edition. So the first thing which we need is our video clip. I have already prepared this logo.mp4 video file and saved it on my desktop for easier access. Now open up your Copper Cube Professional or Studio Edition editor. Let me maximize it. Now we are going to attach behavior to our scene nodes. We can attach it to any scene node whether it's a root scene node, a 3D static mesh, an animated mesh, water node or whatever it is. Just go ahead click this behavior tab and click this plus button here. Go to behaviors triggered by events. I'm gonna use when a key is pressed to something behavior. You can use whatever behavior you want which supports executing an action. So I'm gonna change my key type from A to F and then we are going to attach our video playback action into this behavior. So go ahead and click this plus button here, go to special and select play or stop a video action. In this video file name section here we need to provide our file name of the video along with the file extension. So in my case it is logo.mp4 but in your case it can be anything like .flv, .mkv, .3gp or something else. You need to provide whatever format your file, video file uses in this video file name along with the file name of your video. So in my case it is logo.mp4 and now in the command section we need to specify the command which we are going to use with the video. In my case I'm gonna play the video so I'm gonna use play command because in order to use pause and stop video we need a video which is already playing in the scene. You can only use pause and stop if a video is already playing in the scene and as you can see this is a completely new scene and a new project there is no video which is already playing so we can't pause or stop any video so we have to use the play option here and I want my video to be played continuously so I'm gonna check this looped section here or you can say looped button here and then we have to select our scene node at which we want our video to be played so I'm gonna select this cube mesh here I want my video to be played on this cube mesh then we have to specify the material index on which we want our video to be played for this particular object we have only one material slot if you go to materials then you will see that it has only one material slot just go ahead to view and show uh, ir edit and edit properties go to materials then you will see it has only one by one material slot so which means that the material index this material slot uses is zero so we need to specify this material index 0 in our action here. So by default it comes with 0. So it is 0. We don't have to make any changes to this value here. And I'm going to leave these two actions empty because I don't want an action to be executed when my video ends or if my video throws an error. But uh, you can specify actions if you want. For example, you want to show or hide some 2D overlays or you want to change texture of a scene node or change animation of a scene node when the video ends. So you can specify whatever action you want in these two action properties. And I'm going to just click OK here and that's it. That's pretty much it. But still there are some things which you need to fix. If I go to publish here and test my application as windows exe and if i press f now then it throws me an error could not open video logo.mp4 and it throws me this error because in order to use this logo.mp4 video file i need to confirm that my project my copper cube project and my video file resides in the same directory otherwise i have to provide full address of my video file for example like this I have already copied or written this full address for my video file and if your copper cube project is in another directory and your video file is 
is in another directory and still you want to use that video in your project then you have to provide the full address of that video in this video file name for example in my case it is C which is my system drive then users then Jordan then desktop then logo.mp4 and if I click OK and now if I publish it as Windows EXE then the video should be played if I press F as soon as I press F the video will be played so as you have seen the video is played on all the sides of this cube because this cube has only one material index so what if I want to play the video only on this side and not on all the side so what I can do is I can go to polygon editing tools then go select this triangles button here then select the select button here then hold down shift and left click and select these two triangles and apply a new texture just notice this material slot here as soon as I click this texture button here you will notice that the materials slots has been updated to two so now we have two material slot instead of one if I go to materials tab here then we will have two material slots here as well so this is our material index 0 and this is our material index 1 so this is our material index 0 and this is our material index 1 and now we know that we want to play video on this side and this side uses material index 1 so what I can do is I can go back to my behavior here and in my action here where I have specified material index 0 I can change it to 1 material index 1 and if I publish the application now and if I press F then the video will be played on this side only so as you have seen the video has only played on this side of this material or you can say of this cube so that's how you can use material indexes to play videos on an object but still there is something which I want to tell you if you don't want to use the full address of your project video file sorry if you don't want to use the full address of your video file but still you want the video to be played then you need to save your project first sometimes in new project you don't save it and you try to publish your test your application as Windows EXE platform then it throws an error that video could not be played because it is not specified or something like that so in order to fix that you need to save your project in the same directory where your video file is residing so in my case my video file is in, on my desktop so I need to save my project on my desktop so I'm gonna save it as test.ccb and in my behavior settings where we have supplied our video playback action I'm gonna remove this video URL or you can say video address and I'm gonna simply change it to logo dot mp4 and now the video will still be played if I test the application and if I press F key now then the video is still playing as you can see the video is still playing and playing only on the material index 1 which we have specified in the action and there is one more thing which you can do is you can play with material types here you can change the material type to anything you want for example if I use transparent add then the black color or you can say the black portion of my video will become completely transparent if I press F now or you can say if I publish this as windows application and if I press F now then you can see that the video which was showing previously black portion is now completely transparent 
only the white color is visible to demonstrate it more correctly i'm gonna remove the default skybox and change it with this blue skybox so that you can see clearly what is happening in the video so as you can see this is where this is the material with additive transparency and if i press f now then you will notice that the black portion of the video is completely transparent let me just show you the video is black so, so the video is with the black background and in this material or you can say the video playing on this material is transparent is with transparent background so there are cool things which you can do with materials in copper cube you can use normal map you can use solid fake reflective transparent fake reflective and whatever you want and you will have these bunch of material types if you use eradit and delete properties so this is how you can play videos but but sometimes sometimes if you don't have right codec installed in your computer the copper cube uses direct show decoders if you don't have those decoders installed in your computer then you might see some errors or the video file will not be played on the object correctly uh, and copper cube will throw an error that the video file cannot be played so in order to fix that issue you need to go to this website mediaplayercodecpack.com and download these decoders for your windows if it is your 64-bit windows then you need to download 64-bit version of these decoders if it is a 32-bit windows then you have to download this 32-bit windows or 32-bit decoders for your system and there are huge file formats that these decoders support for example dot bdmv dot evo dot he vc dot mkv dot avi dot flv dot mp4 dot m4v dot 3gp etc so go ahead and download these decoders first before playing with video files in copper cube i will provide the link for the website in the description down below and that's all for today's video hopefully you enjoyed the video if you like the video then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video comment down in the section if you want me to create videos on a specific topics in copper cube game engine hasta la vista bye bye peace out